Hey everyone, it's James George with Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to show you how to create circular text in Adobe Illustrator. First thing you want to do is grab the elliptical tool, and uh, you can uh, make it have no fill and you know just a basic stroke. And if you hold down the Alt or Option key and the Shift key you can drag out a perfect circle from from the center or from the point where you click. So there's your circle. From here, you know, a lot of people don't realize that you can uh, just grab the text tool and select type on a path and then you just hover over your mouse or hover your mouse over the circle and you can see that it says path and so it lets you know that you're hovering over the right if you have a lot of stuff it will tell you when you're actually hovering over the right path and so when you click on it uh, the text cursor appears so you can create text so let's say I'm just going to type out creative beacon and then and increase the size and this this works just like normal text if you want to increase the size you can hold down the command or control key the alt and the option key or the alt slash option key for PC users shift and then uh, you can use the greater than or less than sign next to your question mark on your keyboard to increase or decrease the text size. So I'm going to make it about that large and just for demonstration purposes I'm going to copy it. Uh, and put a little bit of decoration throughout here just so just so we get the idea. So here's here's enough text to give you an idea of having text on a circle. So you know you you have your text and it's on the circle, which is great, but you actually have more control over it than just this. If you uh, use the selection tool, you actually have these little lines here that you can use to control the starting and stopping points of your text. These two are together, which means that it's this is where it begins and it ends here. And if you can see that you have a little line in the arrow, which means you control the starting point. And if your text reaches this stopping point, then it's going to disappear. As you can see there, the last beacon disappears. So if you just take this and drag it out some more, you can make that word visible again. So this gives you total control over your text within a circle. There's also this little line right here, which is hard to see. Usually it extends out past the text, but you should look for a line somewhere in the middle of these two lines going this way. This center line will allow you to change the orientation of the text. So instead of having it on the outside, you can click it and uh, pull your mouse upward and that will make it go within the circle and you can release and you still have control and see I'm using the direct selection tool now you can use either one but as long as you have the selection tools selected then you can control exactly how the text behaves so if you wanted to center that bottom creative beacon and 
then bring this back out so it's totally visible. That gives you total control over all the text. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.